Hello guys, it's been a long time we have seen about topics, that's more. So this session we are going to discuss about a DHCP process. I'm going to show you about the general overview of what is DHCP and then we are configuring a DHCP server and capture the packets and to show you how does it works behind the scenes. Okay, so what is basically a DHCP means? It's a dynamic host configuration protocol. It helps you to assign an IP address to a particular interface from the server. Okay, if a particular interface that you are requesting to get an IP address from the server for that only particular interface, it will assign an IP from the server. Okay, the next is how does it works? It works based on the mechanism, which is called as a DORA process. DORA, which means discover, offer, request, and acknowledge. So we will see about this in the workshop captures so that it will be very easy for you to understand. So the next is the DORA process uses a certain protocol. That protocol name is referred to as a bootstrap protocol. So if you look into the workshop packet, you can see uh, whether it is a discover, offer, request, or acknowledge. What type of packet? This type of packet is being recognized with a protocol called as a bootstrap. So from this we can able to get an identification that DORA process itself works based on a protocol. That protocol is referred to as a bootstrap protocol. Right. So next is the main thing that we need to remember is a port numbers of DHCP. So there are two port numbers. One is for server and the other is for client. So the DHCP server uses a port number 67 and a client which uses a port number 68. So whenever if you are requesting for an IP address to a server, you will be assigned with an port number of 68 and your destination will be assigned with a port number of 67. So you will forward the or you will send a uh, request what would be with the consent port numbers that has to be matching. So the server which runs the port number 767 will reply, will give a reply to your message, will give a reply to our previous send message. So this is what this is how it works. It mainly based on the port numbers. If there is any issues in the port numbers, you can't able to get a DHCP server related configurations or a DHCP IP address also you can't able to get it. Okay, so let's move on to the practical part. Okay, this is our uh, topology that we are going to check. Okay, so let's get a console of that. Okay, there is no IP address assigned. Right. Before that, it's far, we need to confirm the interface. It's passed it in zero slash zero on both the uh, devices. Passed it in a zero slash zero, and I'm going to assign the IP address of one dot two fifty four. Okay, no shit. I'm creating an IP, uh, I'm sorry, a DHCP server segment. Right. So now we have configured a DHCP server. 
then we need to configure this PC interface. Okay. Before configuring that, I would like to capture the packets. So let's make this up. IP address DHCP. Okay. So you will get a console log for the IP address that is being assigned. Yeah, we got it. See here, the IP address that has been assigned here is 192.168.1.1. Now we can also check it over here as show IP interface brief. It's 1.1 and and Okay, so let's move on here. So let's check DHCP is there. No? Okay, if DHCP is not there, you can filter it with the help of a port number save. So, UDP, so, okay. okay. There are four messages, Dora process, as I said, discover, offer, request and acknowledge. So this is what this information is about. Okay, so let's have a look at our first information that is discover. If you look at a discover, you have a source Mac just make a note of this Mac and if you look into here show interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 So if you look into this interface, fast ethernet 0 slash 0 interface and the hardware address is C4014860 and 0000. Okay. C4014860. It's 00. So this is the source MAC. So which is the MAC that has been assigned at a PC interface from where this request has been generated that is a discover request is being generated okay so it doesn't know where to send the packet so it has been broadcasting the mac so the destination mac is a broadcast mac address it has been broadcasting okay so if you look at ip address it even doesn't have an ip address the source is a 0.0.0.0, .0 and destination is a broadcast ip address okay so just look at over here it has a source port of 68 and a destination port of 67 which indicates the request is being generated from the client end. The client port number is 67 and the uh, destination port number is 68. It is requesting for the device that is running a 67 to help out. So this is what that meaning is about. So next is about a bootstrap protocol. If you look at here, it uses a discover message. This message is based on the bootstrap protocol. Okay. So it just get, uh, needs the information. So the overall summarization of the entire stuff is given in the bootstrap protocol. So that's it. I will discover. The next is about a uh, offer. So if you look at an offer, the source Mac C402, just have a look at the last six Mac address. I hope it will do first. Yes. 040000 is a source MAC address for the offer message. Okay. So let's have a look at the server end. So interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0. 04. 0000 Alright, so this is the source 
and it has been broadcasting the information okay so this can we just give get a uh, source ip here okay source ip is 1.254 which is the ip address that we have configured the ip address that we have configured in the server interface show ip interface brief it's 154 okay and if you see a destination it doesn't assign any destination till it so the client side doesn't have an ip address so it just broadcasts the um, destination ip address so the source and destination port numbers if you look at it so the source is a 67 and destination is a 68 which indicates this request is being generated by the source sorry this request is being generated by the server side with the source port number of 67 and it is being given to the client this bootstrap protocol which indicates this is an offer message and it is being requesting if you look at over here your client IP address is 192.168.1.1 so which says I am having a certain set of IP address is it okay for your hand to use this IP address so it has been giving an offer whether is it okay for you to use this IP address so this information is being given under the offer message whether is it okay for you to use this IP address so it is just giving the information to over here okay and with certain set of other scenarios also will be available as this is your server identifier and what is the least time and other informations as uh, what is your how long you can use this IP address how long you need to renew it what is the lifetime for this these set of informations will also be available over here hope you can also find about a DNS information also over here Yeah, the DNS information which has been over here. Okay, domain name server 8.8.8. So offer message which contains the certain set of information as you can use this IP address. It is giving an offer for 192.168.1.1 IP address. Whether is it okay for you to use this IP address? This is the offer IP address that the server gives with other criteria as how long you can use this and how long you need to renew it and what is the least time and what is the dns server what is the gateway ip address other stuff informations are also be given in the offer request so next is move on to the request okay so this is the request message so request message which has a source mac that is being generated from the pc end to the server side it will also broadcast this information okay so the next is if you look it doesn't still not have assigned any ip address it is being given with uh, destination as broadcast destination so the source port number is 68 which is from client and to the server is 67 the main focus is on request end okay if you look at over here the request the offer IP address whether if it accepts the IP address it will be given here as requested IP address okay I am also accepting I am accepting your offer and I am requesting the same to you so this is what is about requested IP address is 192.168.1.1 and I can able to find the DHCP server identification is this IP address 192.168.1.254 with certain set of other scenarios okay so next we move on to the acknowledge the requested information from the client to the server if it has been okay if everything seems to be okay from the server and the client side okay then the final information will be given in terms of acknowledge yes your client IP address is this and you this is your gateway this is your server all other informations it will be acknowledged whatever the information that has been given prior if it accepts everything it seems to be okay it will acknowledge the packet and the IP address will be assigned to the interface so this is how the DHCP works so first thing 
it doesn't have any information it has been broadcasting with a port number of 68 with a destination port number of 67 the one who is running a port number of 67 it will reply to the uh, request sorry it will reply to the discover message with an offer i'm having certain set of informations these are all my rules and regulations as you need to renew so and so time and this is the network segment i'm going to given giving to you and this is my dns server this is my gateway you need to use if all this information accepts you can just uh, give me your request so this is what the offer gives and request if it accepts with if it suits everything is okay for that it will just give you the entire info stuff and okay i'm also okay with what you have said i can acknowledge the information and i'm assigning you this ip address you can use this so this is what a dhcp process is all about all right so that's it about dhcp if you have any queries questions or doubts regarding this just give a comment